Everybody. Hello and welcome back to another live episode, um, episode 18 I think, um, and I am back today with a guest, <laughs> very exciting, I can already see I'm about to get pissed off immediately, um, <laughs> and I'm so happy to finally have this guy on the channel, i got to say, he's someone I've been watching for a long time, um, and I'm going to bring him in him now, be prepared guys, here it is, Mr. Jamie Powell. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hello, thank you for coming on, Jamie. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you for having me. Nice to I, see you. Oh, good to see you too. It's good. I, I'm so happy we finally got on a, on a stream together. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And of course, I, everyone seems to just love winding me up with the Rise of Skywalker, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever not like anything, it's usually the, the wrong way to go. People yeah. Go oh. the way. Uh, uh, Magpie Movies, Paul, he had a huge poster in the background as well for like our whole stream and I'd sit there and endure that poster in the background. I was just sitting there like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's funny. Well, thank you for coming on, mate. Um, and like we were saying backstage, you've had a busy couple days, haven't you? <laughs> oh, it's been crazy. It's been really busy. Really mm. busy. But uh, yeah. yeah, it's been great fun as well. It, it looked here. I really enjoyed uh, both your videos. I still need to watch the one on Paul's channel with you two together, but I watched I watched the other ones, but it, it looked like a blast, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. I mean, um, I mean, I was up in, I had to go filming in Whitstable for this movie, and mm. about half an hour away from there by bus was uh, was Canterbury. And it, it just happened to be a lot cheaper to stay overnight in Canterbury by like a yeah. hundred quid. So I thought, well, I'll get the bus to the theatre and do the filming. And, yeah. uh, and I knew Paulie lived nearby Canterbury, so and he was he was free. He actually yeah. um, took a holiday to meet me, which was nice. Oh, like, day nice. off, so that was yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, but it was it was like a last minute thing, really. We kind of mm. thought, well, as I'm nearby, and yeah, it, it worked out well, and got to meet him. He met me uh, in the pub, so that was good. Oh, <laughs> for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it looked like a brilliant day out, to be fair. I mean, I've only met up with one YouTuber, Mr. Alex Pitt, but it's it's I, really fun, I think. It's good that Silk sort of community, we can all, uh, you know, hopefully when things start to open up a bit more, a few more of us can meet up. So, yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah. It's, it's, it's one of those things. I mean, it's it's nice to meet. I mean, it's kind of like I know him from, mm. from like, because I watch all the YouTube on TV, so it's like, mm -hmm. I mean, like all your videos yeah. and everybody else's videos, I just watch them on TV. It's a lot easier. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, so when you finally meet somebody that you've watched for so long, it's quite mm. like a, you can kind of take them back in a way. But um, but no, it was really nice. And we just, mm. we just hit it off, really. We had a right giggle. Yeah. I was, I was, I was I'm just a prat. Yeah. I'm just a prat. I can't <laughs> help it. I can't. Yeah. I can imagine you two really getting along, actually, like really, because your personalities are very similar, I think. Yeah. <laughs> There was stuff that uh, didn't make it to the video, but um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, all this, we were just like that. Con what you see on camera is like a percentage yeah. of what we were up to, yeah. and it, you know, as in like <laughs> all the silly jokes and everything. And mm. yeah, uh, it, it was just fun. It's just nice, you know, it's nice to meet somebody who has the same passion of movies, you know, and mm -hmm. collecting and so forth. So yeah, no, yeah, so 
It was quite a long journey though to get there. It's like mm -hmm. about about five hours. But yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, worth it, I'd say. Sounds. Oh, yeah. like I, mean, I mean, I was doing the filming for the movie, man. I, you know, that was that was another weird day as well. I mean, yeah. I put the video up. I couldn't get a lot of footage of that, I'm afraid, because, um, mm. well, to be honest, there wasn't really much to film. No. It was a, 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 well, I don't realise that um, when you do making a movie or whatever, there's a lot of waiting around. There's oh, There's a lot of yeah. waiting. You just, <laughs> you just wait for hours. Yeah. We were there for about nine hours, and uh, mm. I did about 90 minutes filming in nine mm -hmm. hours. Mm -hmm. The rest of it, you sort of just sat down. Fortunately, yeah. there's a bar. So that was oh, that that's all right. That <laughs> I think I know when you had all the blood on you, did you? Oh, yeah. Oh, I, 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 <laughs> because my last bus was in like 10 minutes, I couldn't get the makeup off, yeah. so I had to go on the bus on the way back to the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, great. <laughs> anybody think I've been to a football match? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That, that, it reminds me a lot when I'd go to like fancy dress parties or something. It's like, it's like they're only like five minutes away, so we're walking. It's like walking down the street, and you're dressed like a bit of a prat, and you're like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I went to Uncle Festa once to a fancy dress party. Oh, good. Oh, dear. Not much makeup needed, obviously. No. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't, yeah, i done one. I, actually, it was only about three weeks ago, a month ago. Uh, when you, when they sort of said you could have more than six people outside, I went as Elton John in his... Um, the, the sequin baseball outfit. Yeah, I think I saw a photo of that. <laughs> yeah, I got a few funny looks walking down the road in that. <laughs> and my mate was dressed up as someone from ABBA. So we, yeah, we looked a bit odd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, all a good laugh, though. All a good laugh. Exactly. Um, but we've got a few questions, so we'll crack on with a few. Um, um, someone's the first, the very first comment is someone asking they want to see your black wig. <laughs> I say, was that the one upstairs or downstairs? Um, I'll have to go and get it. If you want me to go get it, I'll go and get it, but I'd yeah. have to leave the, the camera. Oh, it's all right. We, we won't, we won't, we won't worry then if it's all right. <laughs> I should have um, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll just address this now. Yeah, the thing because I, I figured there might be a few. Questions yeah. about the football last night. I mean, I don't know. I'm not huge into football. I don't know what your take is on it, but well, um, I think they're overpaid. Like one footballer got thirty three oh, yeah. million. I thought, Ridiculous. I do that. I do that for three times as long <laughs> for half the yeah. time. But um, <laughs> yeah. I think it's. I think the problem with football isn't so much the game. It's all the the, the rubbish around it. And, yeah. And I think that. Um, when we don't win, what well, I don't know if you've seen on Facebook or on the news, all yeah. the stuff that happens. I, yeah. mean, I was in London yesterday mm. just before kickoff because also I was traveling yeah. back home. And mm -hmm. from arriving from St. Pancreas to yeah. the underground to Waterloo, the entire time all you could <laughs> hear was football singing and yeah. people on the way to the match. And I, I, I just had to get home because I yeah. knew if it was going to go tits up, which it did. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't want to be in London because that's where, all, and it all and it all kicked off. And yeah. and I'm um, so yeah. A very short answer is I don't mind watching. I like the World Cups and all that, but mm -hmm. I don't have much hope for England because they never really yeah. win. So to get this far mm -hmm. was really good. But I'm yeah. not heavy into sport, but never. I support the team. Mm -hmm. But I just I, I, the, the only thing I don't like is all that the idiots that have to yeah. cause fights. Mm -hmm. I just can't yeah. stand it. It makes me sick to my stomach. No, it's fine. I, I'm I'm exactly the same as you. I mean, when it's the Euros and the World Cup, I'll get into it. I'm not really much into it outside of that. Mm. Um, and it's weird because last night I was excited to watch it, and I'm really pleased my mates didn't decide to go into London because I didn't want to do that. We just watched it around the friends. Um, I was so excited, and then it was, it was just such an awful thing to watch. We were so awful, I thought. And then you wake up this morning and you hear all this horrible news and it's like, oh, we're so embarrassing. <laughs> all this horrible stuff we're doing. You know, all the other countries just looking down on us and it's, it's yeah. a bit embarrassing. But Yeah, it's not a very good representation of our country. No, you can see why a lot of people hate us. <laughs> um Okay, going to watch the second SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water 2015 tonight. Hopefully it still holds up, but I doubt it will hold up to the original. Hashtag Goofy Goober for life. Yeah, we, we play oh, Goofy Goober for a lot of it. Goober, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm ready. 
<laughs> I'm going to have to get the peanut costume at some point and film like a video of me singing Goofy Goober. Um, oh. <laughs> Who burst that bubble? <laughs> I, I love I love that first film. The that first film. one is brilliant. <laughs> it's, it's just bonkers. But I really love it. It's so funny. I mean, the... It's... Oh. I mean, I can do like a lot. I can do a lot of the voices from SpongeBob. I don't I usually can, show, oh, yeah. show that off. <laughs> don't usually show that off. Yeah. It's not very good, but um, I just love it. I just, I just yeah, love it. it's really well written. It's really funny. Mm. I I just love the last was it ten minutes where they sing the rock Goofy Goober. I that I love. <laughs> oh, such a good song. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Um, but man, but yeah, no, I changed I like my it. underwear. Where? Oh yeah, this is where they got the mustache. <laughs> it? yeah. It's so stupid. <laughs> oh, so, oh, that film's great. I, I don't know about the second and third one though. What, what do you think of those? I haven't seen the third. Um, I've seen mm -hmm. the second one, and I thought it was all right. I, um, mm -hmm. I thought all this stuff when they were in like real life was funny. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was only in it for like they they sold the film on that, and it was like ten yeah. minutes. Movie. So anybody going in expecting that for the whole film was really disappointed. Yeah, but I don't know. It was all right. They had some mm -hmm. funny bits, mm -hmm. but it wasn't as tight as the first film with its writing and its pacing. Um, it was all right. Yeah. It's not rubbish. It's, mm -hmm. But I still think the first is like the best one. Oh yeah, definitely. I I, I actually prefer the third one to the second one, but I've not seen that yet. So. It's not bad. It's not too bad. Um, but the the first one stands miles above both the others, I mm. think. <laughs> and the hamburger car. <laughs> oh, classic. I remember playing the PlayStation 2 game as that, and I can never get past the hamburger car level. <laughs> uh, good news, I saw Indiana Jones on The Last Crusade over the weekend. It was a great movie. That That is a really good movie. Yeah, it is. Very I good. mean, the original three Indiana Jones films so yeah. great yeah uh, I, I think the fourth one gets a little bit too bad of a rap but i have the unpopular opinion i actually don't mind it i i enjoy it I, it's crap yeah it's far-fetched but i've seen far See, worse sequels but it I, isn't yeah i mean i always say five is like an average film for me out of ten I'd probably give it like a six. I don't mind it. It's just I think the others are all like eights and nines. That's why mm. it's just a drop off. But I don't think it's bad. No, I mean there are some good elements to it. The the mm. chase in the in the uh, forest or the woods mm -hmm. or whatever it, it was mm -hmm. forest in the, in the jungle was really mm -hmm. well done. That whole mm -hmm. chase sequence is really well done. Um, yeah, it, like I say, it is silly, but it's. Yeah, it's it, just yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, I don't. It, it could have been far worse. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could have been like a Transformer sequel. <laughs> oh god, yeah, that, that is a good point. <laughs> um, thoughts on the Austin Powers trilogy? I actually haven't seen these films. Yeah, <laughs> I know, <laughs> and I, I feel like I really should have seen them, but um, uh, that. It's funny because I, lately I've been going through these franchises, which I really feel I should watch. I've just done the Godzilla. I'm doing Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, Chucky, and all that stuff at the minute. Mm. Austin Powers I will do eventually. That's one I will get round to. Yeah, they're, 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 they're fun. I don't know if they'd be, mm. <laughs> they'd be no. they go down as well now as they did back then. Yeah. Because obviously today everybody's jumping on the whole, that's not right, you can't oh, say yeah. But yeah, and, no. that's, and that's a shame in a way. Um, but I can understand why. But mm -hmm. we won't go down that road. That's a fake no, yeah. conversation. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I like them. I thought they're quite fun. Uh, I even like the third one, which gets a lot of B. Mm -hmm. But I, I enjoyed all three. I think the first is the best as, all, as usual. But um, yeah, they're all yeah. a bit fun. And Mini Me is really, really quite yeah. ironic, quite fun. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I, get, I get told I look like Dr. Evil. Oh, me. really? <laughs> me a freaking barrel. No, that wouldn't mean you hadn't seen it. So. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know what I'm comparing it to, but I'll take your word. <laughs> uh, but no, I uh, will get around to watching them at some point. Um, <laughs> um, what else we got here? I'm sort of picking and choosing between the comments because I always end up never catching up with them. Um, how do you rank the Indiana Jones movies? So I think for me, I'd, I, I think... Each one progressively is a step down. I know a lot of people put the third one above two. I think it's just nostalgia. I'd go one, two, three, four. Like, uh, one's best, second, third. I, I just 
remember watching two a lot more as a kid. So I think it's more nostalgic for me. Mm. I think my the way I go is um, I think the best one made is the first one, I mm -hmm. mean, physically. But the one yeah. I would enjoy the most is Temple of Doom. I mm -hmm. love Temple of Doom. Um, yeah. Then I, and then I would go one, three, mm -hmm. four. So it's two, one, three, four. But the mm -hmm. first one is critically the best one. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it, they're, they're, like I said, one, two, and three, they're, they're very close to each other. Yeah. Four is obviously Absolutely. the weakest one. Mm -hmm. Not that it's bad, but it's just no. the weakest of the four. Yeah. It's good to hear some, some love for the second one because most people seem to put it down with the original three, I find. People are always a bit like, eh, the second one's all right. It's like, oh, I think it's on the same level as the one and three. I mean the, the bit at the end on the on the, uh, on the bridge. Mm, it's yeah, just amazing. So I, stuck. I see. I like <laughs> I like the little kid in it, Shorty, because my dad hates him, and um, it's funny. Whenever he brings it up, I'll just start shouting and going, "You cheat, Pastor Jones! You cheat!" <laughs> <laughs> Piss him off. He'll be like, "Shut up!" <laughs> so like, when he talks, he do not like Jar Jar either. So I'll start doing my Jar Jar impression. He'll go, "Shut up! Shut up!" <laughs> oh, we've we got to hear it now. We've got to hear uh, it. Now. My mates get me to do this a lot. I normally have to have a few drinks, but um, um, me so called Jar Jar Binks. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's, uh, impressions aren't my thing, but <laughs> I can do Yoda. I, I do oh, Yoda. yeah. Yeah, hang on. Hang on. I have a prop as well. Oh, good. <laughs> get well, it's going. <laughs> I sense much fear in you, I do. <laughs> <laughs> that's like Empire Yoda. <laughs> yeah. Very crazy. <laughs> Well, this is my mate, my... In throat. Is that... Yeah, <laughs> mm, yeah, <laughs> that was really good to be fair. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I, I wish I was better at impressions to be fair. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't reveal my impressions because they're not very good, mm. most of them. Yeah. Um, I, used to, I used to be able to do Chewbacca and Alec Guinness, but oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they I haven't done them in years. I mean, Alec uh, Guinness is, doesn't sound like Alec Guinness, but. <laughs> you, uh, you must fill the force playing with you. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not too bad, to be fair. It's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, hello, my friend. Tough result with the football. I'm Scottish. Wasn't really caring who win, but very close game. Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, I mean, we we got the goal, but then after that, I felt like we were useless. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I saw bits of it. Yeah, because obviously I, was, I just got back in from my trip and I wanted to go and like, jump in the shower and mm. sort my stuff out. Um, I saw bits of it, and if it was going to go to penalties, I I knew it wasn't going to end well because yeah, no, I I wasn't even watching the screen on penalties. So I was just sort of sitting there. <laughs> um, are you going to pick up the Office US Blu-ray box set? I would love to have this because I adore the Office show. But I can't pay a hundred pounds for something that I've got on DVD. It's all on Netflix. I'm pretty sure Prime still have it. It's like I don't really see justifying a hundred pounds on it. It's a lot of money. Um, I've actually never seen it. Oh, yeah, it's one of my I, favorite shows. <laughs> I will. I am. The problem is, like, I find a lot of things at the moment. It's mm. it's picking one thing to watch. Yeah. And I mean, mm. I haven't watched Loki yet. I haven't mm -hmm. seen all of the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Mm -hmm. Couldn't get into that one so much. I haven't yeah, seen. Um, so there's just lots of films I've got to watch. There's, mm -hmm. there's, and the TV series is. I mean, like, there's like hundreds of episodes. And yeah, it, it's just finding time. Because I work a lot of hours, and it's yeah. I, I do want to watch it though because I love the original. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's it's one of those things. It's a big commitment. The Office, but I always used to chuck it on in as background stuff. You know, it's still something you have to sit down and concentrate too much, like like one of the Marvel ones. So I normally just have it on in the background. Mm. I mean, some things I will straight away watch, like straight. I love Stranger Things. I know mm -hmm. everybody is probably sick of it now because it's become a huge thing. But I remember when I first saw the trailer, when it first dropped, and I thought, that mm -hmm. looks great. Mm -hmm. And I loved it when I first watched it. And now it's grown to this massive thing. And, and it, it's, it's kind of a cliche to really like Stranger Things. Yeah. And it's now got to a point where something's so popular that it becomes unpopular. So everybody's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's my business. What do you want yeah. that for? But personally, mm -hmm. if next thing, and the next series is the last one, so they're not like going mm -hmm. too far with it. No, no, um, yeah. I've watched that and, you know, I, I've straight away watched that. And yeah. Adam Vinny was really good. Nobody ever talks mm -hmm. about that. And there's a series called You, 
which is on Netflix. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, that's really good. Really like that. Mm -hmm. um, it's about a guy who like stalks women and mm -hmm. it sort of starts with a relationship, but he's like a serial killer sort of thing. It's a bit like Dexter in a way, mm -hmm. I guess, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. It's really good. Really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quite a few people I know have watched that and they've, they've recommended that to me. So that's one that I might check out at some point. But I mean, that's the only show is like, I'll, I hear that's good as well. My friend Ryan, who I do my podcast yeah. with, watched that. He says it's good. Mm. But I mean, the only shows I tend to jump on straight away is anything Star Wars, like live action and animated, um, the Marvel ones. I mean, there's a few on Netflix I like. I, I will watch Stranger Things straight away. I, I like Stranger Things. Um, Sex Education is one that I, I adore that show. I can't, the new season, I think, I think it's in September. So I'll be on that. The Boys, Amazon Prime, mm -hmm. love that as well. They're sort of the ones I'll yeah, jump on. Yeah, The Boys is really good. One of my favourites. Um, I heard good. Quentin. I must watch that as well. Oh, yeah. No, you'll like it, I reckon. Um, I heard um, Quinton is considering making a third Kill Bill movie. Um, I personally would like to see that, but not as a final film. Um, yeah, I agree, because he keeps saying that he's only going to do 10. I, I find it hard to believe because he loves making movies, because I reckon he'll make one movie, retire, he'll get bored, come back and make more movies. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he might like do like screenwriting. He might like focus mm. on the writing because he loves writing, doesn't it? I mean, every yeah. one of his is really uh, heavy dialogue. Um, mm. Well, most of the time. Uh, I do th think that, I mean, I've actually got, um, there's the definitive cut of Kill Bill. Mm -hmm. My friend in America, he's got me a copy of it. Um, there's, I think, Stinky Tuna is sending it. And it's basically mm. both films put together with all the deleted scenes and all the black and white bits in colour and yeah. all the animated sequences extended. Oh, nice. It's called, like, I forget the name of it, a killer cut or something. It's oh, like okay. five mm -hmm. hours long. Uh, so oh, I'm really nice. looking forward to watching that. Um, but I, I love Kill Bill 1. I mean, Kill Bill yeah. 2 was good, but Kill Bill 1 mm -hmm. was just like full on. It was amazing. Yeah. I, I think I slightly prefer the first one I as well. But I, I, I'm sort of agree yeah. with Tarantino. I look at them as one movie. That's my thing with those Kill Bill films. Mm. But they're just in different they're, like, parts, aren't they? It's like Star mm. Wars original. Star Wars is one story. I remember like, it's yeah. like a, a saga, isn't it? So it's like a whole mm -hmm. and Back to the Future, part one, two, and three. It's all one yeah. film but in three parts. So mm -hmm. yeah, you might get away with it and do another one. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Well, because Bill's dead, so I don't know what I don't know how they get away with another one to be honest but i'm 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 always game i'll watch anything that tarantino does oh yeah i'm i'm straight there straight there opening night mm. i remember seeing kill bill opening night and i was with mm -hmm. some mates and we had some beers and we went in and it was like boom 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 I was like, oh this yeah. is great <laughs> I was in <laughs> it was fantastic yeah i can imagine to be fair the only tarantino film i've seen in the cinema was once upon a time i really wish because i was going to leicester square to see the hateful eight where they done like a proper intermission thing and stuff and i i love the hateful eight so i really wish i'd gone to that i i think i was ill or something i couldn't go but really gutted i missed that because that would have been awesome oh yeah i saw that as well it, i saw that it was really good i mean i like like mm. i said um there was a couple i missed i missed um mm -hmm. what's that one he did uh uh, uh, Jackie Brown. I missed Jackie Brown at the cinema. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. but that was that was a good one. I enjoyed that mm. one. I watched it on VHS. Oh yeah, <laughs> I I, I, I <laughs> had a few VHSs. I was I just got caught the tail end of the VHS era. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I I like all of his movies. The only one that I'm a little bit funny with is Death Proof. That's the only one of his films which I'm not really too keen on. Well, I've always thought that was like a separate thing because mm. it's part of the um, uh, was Grindhouse double bill thing yeah. with Robert Rodriguez. I mean, Planet Terror was it's one, it's one of my favourite horror movies. It's absolutely bonkers. Sure. But they did like this thing together. So it's, it is Death Proof came out separately, but it was originally intended to be like a collaboration. And yeah. they had like Edgar Wright do like, a, I think it was called Don't, a trailer. It was a trailer mm -hmm. for a fake film. And Machete was a fake um, trailer as well. They made that into a movie. 
Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I think, I mean, the, the one with the um, the werewolves I and mean, then that scene was quite interesting. I would mm-hmm. like to have seen that. Mm-hmm. I think that was Nicolas Cage as well. So we all knew that, that would have been quite interesting. Yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If, I guess it is, is one of his, it is one of his films, but mm. I always thought that was like a companion piece, whether it would yeah. be accepted as a single film. But what do I know? Yeah, oh, maybe so. I mean, to be fair, I didn't really know any of that. I mean, I, I it's, um, I don't know. It always did feel very different to his other films. So I, I guess maybe it sort of is, like you say, a companion piece sort of thing. Yeah, it felt like for me, it felt like a side project, and I enjoyed it, but mm-hmm. it was very slow, but yeah. and very overwritten, overwritten mm-hmm. on that one. I'm afraid it, mm-hmm. and some of the things they would, the, the, some of the, uh, I was watching it with um, a friend around his place, and his girlfriend was like, "Is that how you how you think women talk?" I was like, "Yeah, I, I think so." <laughs> 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 but no, it's, it's, it's all right. Yeah, yeah. Um. I'm, I'm not sure if you've seen this one. I, I can't remember whether you said you saw it on your channel or not. Um, favourite and least favourite thing or aspect about the Tomorrow War movie. Did you watch that one? I have, again, not had time. I, no. I, on my watch list, I want to mm-hmm. watch it. Yeah. I guess I've just been too busy with work and yeah. filming and all the rest mm-hmm. of it. But I've got, I've got Friday off and I think the wife's out. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I'm going to catch up on some stuff on Friday. It's so oh, long okay. away. It's so yeah. long away. <laughs> yeah it is well hopefully it come around quick i'm sure it will mm. <laughs> um um let's go with this one sing street versus once versus begin again who wins i haven't seen once i've seen sing street and begin again i've seen sing uh, sing street and once but i've not seen begin mm. again so, <laughs> which one is once? Which I can't even think That's of. um once is about a busker and okay. he meets this lady and they sort of form a relationship and it's about okay. him and his music because he she loves his music and they sort of have, yeah they sort of fall for each other. I mm-hmm. won't ruin the ending as you haven't seen it. Um mm-hmm. I thought it was very good. I really enjoyed it. Yes, yeah. Thing okay. Street, if that's what I think it is, about the kid in the band. Drive yeah, like you, drive like you stole it. Was it one of the songs? I can't remember. Yeah, I could, be could be wrong. Yeah, got it. I've actually got it right here, handy. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, we, yeah. we saw that. That was good as well. I enjoyed that. Mm. Um, I think they're both on a par, to be honest. I couldn't mm-hmm. really pick one over the other. I think they both have strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're both entertaining movies, and mm-hmm. I would give them about the same sort of score. So, but if I have to pick, I think once just slightly mm-hmm. tips it for me, but yeah. Um, oh. They're both very good. I, I I might actually try and check out once because that really sounds like something up my street. Um, I've only seen it once. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go there. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, don't worry, guys. I'll kick him out. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry about the frozen stuff behind me, by the way. Oh, that's all right. Nothing it's, wrong with it's it's frozen. No, oh, that's all right. We like frozen. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I've seen that singer live, the one who does that thing. <laughs> Oh, wow. Amazing. Yeah, she's a Norwegian singer called Aurora, who I love. I love her music. And I didn't even know she was in Frozen. I just remember watching the second one at the cinema. I was like, I know that voice. <laughs> and I looked it up and I was like, oh, yeah. the, the one of the singers I like. And she's done her own version of that song as well. In, oh, to, you know, she's a really good singer. Um, but, yeah, um, I would go I, – I really love Sing Street. Begin Again was, it was pretty good. Kira Knightley and – uh, um, uh, Hitler, is it? that's it. Yeah, couldn't think yeah. of his name. I have I've, my wife's got it on Blu ray, I think. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's a good book. I used to have it in the collection, I think it's out in the hallway now because obviously space is an issue, so stuff wow. ends up getting chucked out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I kept seeing streets, I do really like that, and I am going to check out once. Um, have you got it? What's that? So, once. Have you got once? Right, no, I don't have it. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it'll probably be quite cheap online. I'll send it to you. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, of course. No problem. Oh, wow, that's very kind of you, mate. Thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's very no, kind of you. No, I'll send it to you. No problem. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Well, hey, I, I, I need to get something off to you at some point because the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle thing, uh, Blue Reddit, oh. you sent me a while ago, was really nice as well. Did by you, the way, you watched it, didn't you? Watched it this morning. Watched it this morning. I said I'd have it. 
Yeah, I, I said I'd have it watched for the stream. So I thought when when I saw your message come through this morning, I was like, "That's what I'm doing today." Um, <laughs> um, and I liked it. It was good fun. It was really entertaining. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I I really like the, the, the just the costumes and stuff. I love that nostalgic stuff. It's I'm because I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a huge fan of the two newer ones. That's fair enough. Not really for me. I, I I don't like the Michael Bay style humor, and um, I but the costumes and stuff. I just much prefer that kind of thing. It's more nostalgic. I love like eighties, nineties movies like that. Oh great! Well, at least you enjoyed it. That's great. <laughs> when the song came on, I was like, "Oh, it's Jamie's intro." <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I loved it. No, it was really good fun. It was a good fun. I can see wh why you like that movie a lot. Oh, I just love it. Just yeah, love it. Mm. the nostalgic one. Oh yes, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> First um, time I ever saw it twice at the cinema. Oh, twice! Oh wow! Uh, there's sequels for it as well, isn't there? Yeah, um, there's, I mean, they're very different, the sequels. Uh, the yeah. first one is like kind of dark and gritty for it, mm -hmm. for that sort of thing. Um, yeah. Certainly is more violent, the first mm -hmm. one. The second one is more like the cartoon from the 80s and yeah. early 90s. And the third one, nobody likes the third one. So no. it's because they had a very smaller budget. I mean, Splinter is only his head and his, and he looks, he looks like he's just been run over by a truck. He oh, looks dear. terrible. And uh, the turtles, the, the costumes are really bad. Um, oh, really? They go back to ancient Japan. Okay. That, that sounds <laughs> so great. It's, it's very, yeah, it's not a lot. I like it, obviously. Yeah. But <laughs> I can recognize why people hate it because it is bad. Yeah. But I like it. I don't give a mic. But no. yes. Uh, but yeah, you want to watch the second one? That is a good giggle. Mm -hmm. That is a good yeah. giggle. I might check it out, to be fair. It's funny, though, because that's sort of like what I always end up saying about, like, the prequels, Star Wars, or at least Attack of the Clones, because like, I always try to defend that because I just grew up with it, but it's sort of like, yeah, I can sort of see why people don't like it, but Attack of the Clones, at least, and Phantom Menace. It's I just like, hate but... sand. It gets everywhere. Yeah, sand is coarse <laughs> and it's rough. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I Obviously, I grew up with the originals, and then mm -hmm. I saw the... I just left, just finished school when the prequels came out, mm -hmm. and I thought they were good. I loved mm -hmm. Phantom Menace, but I did. Mm -hmm. I thought watching it back a couple of years mm -hmm. ago, I realized that the acting is really wooden. The oh yeah, the acting is poor, mm -hmm. the, but I still enjoy it. And and mm -hmm. Attack of the Clones, I enjoyed that one. I think mm -hmm. the love story in the middle is overdone. Yeah, and not very well written. It's probably the worst written Star Wars film, um, mm -hmm. in my opinion. My opinion. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> the third one, the third one is kind of strange because everybody loves that the um, mm -hmm. uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, what's it called? I can't think of the name of it. It's Attack of the Clones. Then it's oh, Revenge. Revenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody loves that one, mm -hmm. but it's one of my least favorites. I but I love the first mm -hmm. hour, and then it yeah. goes it goes for about another hour, and then it picks up in the last half an hour. Yeah. But I still, I still think it's a good yeah. film. There's not yeah. one Star Wars film I don't like. You know. No. Uh, I <laughs> Until two years ago, I could have said the same thing, but um, then something come out. But I, I, I really like Phantom Menace. I grew up with the prequels. They're my, they're my Star Wars films, you know, because like when yeah. I was shown the originals instantly, um, and then I got to experience. I, I know I saw Revenge of the Sith in cinema. I'm really not sure if I saw Attack of the Clones, but I, I like Phantom Menace a lot. Attack of the Clones, it's good. I, I love it for the last half hour like the huge yeah. fight and That's christopher fight. lee i mean i love count dooku yeah people know i've bought his lightsaber so i mean um and then i, I, I am one of those revenge of the sith lovers i just love that you know that's the thing you're entitled to an opinion oh, yeah. and, <laughs> and people down the comments in all the videos when you have an opinion about something Oh yeah. There's always going to be people that are like, "How dare you?" And and but you know what? Yeah. You're entitled to an opinion. Yeah. Stick with your opinion. Mm -hmm. Stay true to your opinion. It doesn't yeah. matter what anybody else thinks. No. It really doesn't. Completely it's nice wrong. if they agree, but mm -hmm. it's also nice if they don't agree. That means they have their own opinion as well. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Just don't give people hate because they like something. Yeah. No. I must admit, I've been doing YouTube for a, must be eight years or so now. I've I've experienced many comments. Oh. Um, but it's just good. You just got to look over them. Just go, whatever. Yeah. 
I get them all the time. I had one yesterday, uh, somebody moaning about me swearing in the mm -hmm. video, and I didn't even swear in the video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't get it. it, it problems. Yeah, it's it's it really is baffling. It really is. You know, I've, I've had a few of them myself. I must admit, but um, it is. yeah. Um, what film are you most excited for? I'm guessing that's upcoming movie. I have three. Mm. Um, it is Candyman. Ah, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Halloween Kills. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Ghostbusters. Uh, afterlife. Oh yeah. Do you know what? I always I keep forgetting that film's coming out, the Ghostbusters one. But yeah, the, the Halloween one. You'll be pleased. I'm I'm going through them all at the oh, minute. I set that. Is that, I, that is it Italian one or is it? A, yeah, Italian yeah. one. Um, what's it, uh, Jason? Let me know about this. Very kind of him. He told me if you go on the Amazon Italy, you can get it quite cheap. So it only cost me it was forty five pounds. But for eight films, that that's very good because yeah. there, there was a I've got a box set that cost me about the same sort of price but it's the American box set it's not mm -hmm. the big the big one because there's a big yeah, square I've, one you can get which is yeah, like I've 200 pound mm. but I've got the other one which is like two cases in a box set like that is that a yeah. digi pack or is that a um, this, this one's a digi pack yeah it's got like um, so it comes out like this and you've got nice. you get the mark cards and then that's, that's sort, cool. sort of just unfolds got all your movies in there but that's cool that's cool yeah. so but no I'm, I'm really enjoying them i'm gonna go through them all so i'm ready how far, how far have you got them well i started watching five this afternoon before the stream i got i got about halfway through that so i will finish that tonight so i'll have five done by tonight but i've seen all of one through four what's so. your um opinion so far love the first one Incredible! Like I just love John Carpenter. Though. Um, you got you got to realize that, that the first one was the very first slasher film. Yeah, yeah, it was but, the first of its kind. You could sort of that's what that, that's it's funny because someone's in one of my I think it was on my Instagram live stream said they thought that the first one was overrated, and that's sort of what I said. It's like you got to think this was one of the first ones. You know, it's one of it's a very early John Carpenter film as well. It's going to be small budget. I think for what it was, it's an incredible film. Yeah. It is. It is a little slow. When I, I went to see um, a screening of it before they had the uh, 2018 one. Oh yeah. Had a screening of the original. I thought, well, I've mm -hmm. never seen the original on the big screen. So I thought mm. I'd like to go and see it. And when you watch it, you kind of realise it is quite slow. Yeah. But I like the suspense. I like the build up. Mm -hmm. And it's just you know it is a classic. I mean, it's mm. a classic. whether you like it or not now, today's audience are so used to having the the horror yeah. being like jump scares that seems to be the thing yeah. in horror these days mm -hmm. this isn't about jump scares this is about characters and yeah it is a bit underwritten i guess maybe but it, and the characters mm. don't have a lot of development but again this is a product of its time and yeah. it is a classic and mm -hmm. i think halloween 2 was really good mm -hmm. and i read i mean season of the witch is a completely different thing mm -hmm. um yeah, no Michael, not no Michael Myers. Not a spoiler because he's seen it. Yeah, most, most people these days have seen it. Anyway. Yeah. and the fourth one is one of my favourites. I thought it was I, really good. Yeah, I I was surprised. I I really liked two. I actually didn't expect it to take place straight after, so that caught no. me off guard. And I was like, oh, I like this. Um, I personally wasn't a fan of the third one, but I was surprised mm -hmm. by four as well. I put four on, and I was like, this is quite entertaining. Yeah. Wait, wait till you get to Rob Zombies. Oh, which one's that? <laughs> that, that it's a re they're remakes. They're the, the oh, yeah, you know, one, two, three, four, then five mm -hmm. and six, and then you had the two remakes by Rob Zombie, and then you had the recent one, and I got the other two. Okay, so because in this set I've got so because it's all in Italian, which is the annoying thing. So I haven't got the titles. So for the sixth, yeah, for the sixth one, I've got two versions of it in this set. Oh, that's good. That's good to have because there is two versions of the film. There's the mm. original cut and like a, I think it's like producer's cut. I think they called it. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. There we go. Producer's cut. It does have it yeah. in English at the bottom on that one. So, and then, so I'm guessing that the, yeah, Halloween. This one. <laughs> I mean, the title's in Italian, but. Oh yes, of course you had the um. That's there's H2O and Resurrection. I forgot what them two. Yeah. I this... them two. But yeah, they're um. Hello, H2O is really good. Yeah. 
I'm quite, I'm quite excited to finish it. To be fair, get through. I I did see the 2018 one when it came out, but I can barely remember it. Um, so it's due a rewatch. I just remember there being a plot twist at some point, and I didn't like it much. It was, it was like the guy let Michael out or something like that. I just remember that bit and just going, "What the hell?" <laughs> I'm I'm currently um doing this on my phone to say now and the little notifications pops up and I've just had two notifications from a troll called Martha saying stop swearing it's not very polite so they must be they must be watching this and, Do you know, and, then, go, and then go and comment. I actually had one comment early on which I just instantly blocked where it just said stop swearing I was like I, don't, I didn't even realize who it was aimed at I was like I'm just going to block it. <laughs> oh, I haven't sworn once yet. The night is young. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to swear word. Um, oh, interesting. Um, we got a tennis question. Do you watch tennis, Jeremy? Are you a tennis fan? No. no. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm glad I, you enjoy it. Whoever oh, it I'm, I'm not big on tennis, but um, I, I mean, I'd probably go Djokovic out of those ones, my favourite. Um, <laughs> my mum's mum, I know mum, I'm not. Uh, see, in my house, my mum's big on tennis, my dad's big on Formula One. So I get a lot of knowledge about those two sports from them. Um, um, just finished my Pixar collection, ordered the last one today um, off the deal HMV. Um, what are your top three Pixar films? Ooh. Ooh. Number one would be Toy Story. Mm -hmm. um, I like Wally. -E. Yeah. Mm hmm. And probably Toy Story Two. Oh, okay. I, I I like I have a lot of love for Toy Story Two. Yeah. Really I like, funny. Really. I like funny. I like um Zerg's in that one, isn't he? That's the one that Zerg's in. That's right. Yeah. yeah. It took when they go um uh what's his name? Woody gets nicked by the that oh the two man. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, yeah. It's, it's all the stuff um like when the the gang go after the save him. Uh, it's just, <laughs> it's just, it's just so. He wouldn't do it, would he? He would. Yeah. Oh, it's just, it's silly lines. I don't want to use my yeah. head. Oh, I just love it. Just love the, the humor. And he goes, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am your father." And like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like the bit where they use um, Rex's head to bust through the the yeah. vent door. <laughs> um, it's all funny stuff. Yeah. Um, I, I think my three, three favourite Pixar films would be Nemo. That's like my nostalgic one. Grew up with oh, that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go Wally as well. And I, I think I might go Ratatouille, maybe. Ooh, that's good. That's I really good. like that one. It's it's one of those ones that doesn't get talked about as much, but I really love that movie. Yeah, it's... it's um... I mean, it's just it's, it's not really talked about, like you said. It's but it's really good. I'm really going quite low. If I get any lower, I'll be dead. <laughs> I always do. I always end up like here on frame, and I'm like, oh wait, get a bit more. <laughs> yeah, right too. It's, it's brilliant. It's really, uh, really quite a nice, sweet little story. It's mm -hmm. quite low, low key. Not yeah, low key, but low yeah. key. Um, yeah, it's, it's really just a nice, gentle little film. Mm. And I mean, the bit where he eats the dinner at the end, and he, and it takes him back to his childhood. Yeah. That really, really is a great moment. I mean, mm. everybody talks about that bit, but that really is like one of the best bits of any Pixar movie. Yeah, uh, I agree. Really good. It's it's just a really interesting. I think it, 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 the film does wonders. I think for the characters and it, like I remember that bit when he eats like the grape and the cheese, and it just makes me hungry. I'm sitting there, I'm like, yeah. I'm hungry. Don't watch now. that film if you're hungry. No, or, 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 or if you're not hungry, you don't watch it. No. <laughs> you already will be by the yeah. end. <laughs> And carrying on with the animated, because there's an interesting question here. Least favourite animated film ever? <laughs> Ooh, that's tricky. I've I've had a couple come to mind that I don't like. Um, I don't like, funny enough, one from this year, uh, Studio Ghibli's new film, oh, Earwig the, the, and the Witch. Earwig, is it? Earwig or something. Yeah. I want to see it, but I've heard everything's bad. I I hated it. <laughs> um, is I that? The one. Oh, I know the one. I know the one now. Norm mm -hmm. of the North. That is that was awful. 
that was emoji uh, movie as well. I know that's a favorite of yours. That that was one of the other ones in my head. Um, emoji movie gets special points because James Corden's in it. Um, but yeah, Norman the North. Well, back to my movies. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that, Tim. I feel too bad. <laughs> oh, you, you won't mind from me. He no. loves me, really. I can't. I can't put anyone in the ca- that same category as James Corden. I can't do it. <laughs> I like James Corden when he first started off in Gavin and Stacey. Mm. Loved Gavin and Stacey. I agree. Yeah. And ever since he finished Gavin and Stacey, he got so far up his ass. Every time mm. he yawned, he could see daylight. Yeah. He really is up his own bottom. But yeah. He can be funny though. I'm not yeah. gonna put him aside. He can be funny. And yeah. when he came back as Smithy and Gavin Stacey, I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. But he is um yeah, he is who he is, I'm afraid. I yeah. I, 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 I agree. He's good in Gavin Stacey. A few episodes of Doctor Who he was in as well before he went yeah, up to America. He was good in that Matt mm-hmm. Smith ones, wasn't he? Yeah, he was good in those. I liked yeah. him. It, 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 yeah. I, I it just seems like when he went off to America it just just like yeah. that. <laughs> But, well, hey, there's some there's some pretty terrible animated films out there, though. It's funny, though, because I don't know if I'd consider any Disney. Like, say, so got 57 films, and I don't know if I'd consider I'm, There are any... weaker ones, but there are oh, no definitely. bad ones. No. I, I mean, I can't, I don't, I'm trying to think of a bad Disney. It's really tricky. It's For really me, tricky. there's only two I don't really like, and weirdly, they come out back-to-back. There was Home on the Range and Chicken Little. But I wouldn't put them as rubbish movies. They're just like the bottom of the barrel for me. They're kind Disney. of filler. A bit filler. Yeah. yeah. I mean, my favourite Disney movie, my favourite cartoon of all movie of all time. I know. I think I know it. It's, it's the um the Goofy the goofy event That's movie. Right. Goofy Isn't movie it bad? That? That's my favourite animated movie. You know, I don't get it. They didn't do one of these fancy Disney, you know, slip no, it's ones. only come out in the Disney Club in America. Oh, and okay. It's never been released officially on Blu-ray anywhere mm-hmm. else, and it's a real pain yeah. in the ass. But my good friend Kermit's ghost mm-hmm. got it for me, and oh, he, right. he has a contact over in America. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, and I didn't know he was getting it for me. I mentioned to him he's about one of my all-time favorite movies, and he went mm-hmm. and got it for me the little git. Yeah, um, and this is my my pride and joy. I just love it. It's a, mm. I've watched it so many times. I watched it for my birthday every year. Uh, yeah. on my birthday, I get to pick one film mm-hmm. uh, and get pizza. Last year it was yeah. Ninja Turtles, and this year it was Goofy mm-hmm. Movie. Next oh, year it'll be Monster Squad. Monster Squad, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that? I, I haven't seen Monster Squad. No, no, I haven't <laughs> seen the Goofy Movie either because it's not in this. I know. I've watched all nearly all the films in this um, fifty-seven numbered Pixar uh, Disney collection. Sorry, um, but I, I haven't seen the Goofy one. <laughs> it's not in there. It's a separate thing. No. Yeah. Don't, don't watch the sequel. Extremely Goofy. No. Movie. It's pants. No, it's weird because you can get actually because there's a lot of people know I collect vinyl as well. Um, they Disney put out picture vinyls for all their animated films, like the soundtracks. And they've put a picture one out for the Goofy movie, so I'm surprised they haven't done an actual Blu-ray. No, and they need to. They need Ooh. to because it is just for me. It is, I don't know what it was about it. I saw the trailer. <laughs> didn't, yeah, I was like, mm, yeah it might be mm-hmm. right. Yeah, and then they used to do um, Cinema Club for kids at weekends. Mm-hmm. I think they still do it in Odeon, and and used to pay one pound for a ticket to go and see yeah. this film that had been out, uh, been out already. And mm-hmm. you'd come out on video at the time, like a month or two later. Yeah. And you'd just pay a pound to go and watch it, like a kids' club thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And one of my friends at the time, I was quite old though when it came mm-hmm. out. So my friend said, I want, he wanted to go and watch it. I said, oh, okay, I'll come along. Mm-hmm. And I just loved it. Just, abs- I, I thought it was just, it just, it was my sense of humor. It's completely silly, but it, I identified a lot as well with the lead character. I'm not going to go into spoilers, but basically, yeah. that kid wants to impress a girl. Um, so uh, he tells her that he's going to go across the country with his dad yeah. mm-hmm. uh, to um, perform live on a stage with his favourite singer mm-hmm. that he likes, Powerline. And mm-hmm. um, and and so because obviously he has to break up a date, do it. So it yeah. it really is, and then it's a road movie. That's it. It's a road movie, and it's yeah. and it's really funny, and it's also quite touching. Has a couple of moments which is quite. Mm-hmm. I mean, you wouldn't think Goofy would have a dramatic moment. Yeah. In it. Very short. <laughs> Very short, yeah. about 10, 20 seconds. Yeah. But it, mm. I don't know. I just don't know what it is. It's just, 
it's the guy singing i want to sit on my butt yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I do. I will check these out. Are they on Disney Plus. Yes. It is. Uh, yeah. On Disney Plus. I will probably um, check them out then. I think if they're on it there, it does have a cult following. It's a lot yeah. Of on YouTube, you see a lot of people doing mm -hmm. videos about it and like, like re, like doing a live action version of the opening song mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. Really clever stuff. It has, has got an audience. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Well, I'm sure I'd like it. I like Goofy. He's a cool character. So, <laughs> um, uh, Jim Jam movies and TV. Hello, Hello, ben. Mr. Millership. Hello, James. <laughs> um, are you coming to the... <laughs> he loves his um Facebook lives, don't he? <laughs> yeah, he's really good though. He's 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 a lovely chap as well. I speak to him every yeah. day, pretty much. He oh, really. really He's yeah. a really great guy, and he knows his stuff, and mm. hey, he's uh, you know, he's a good friend. He really is. Um, yeah, I need he's to got a YouTube channel as well. Go and subscribe. I, yeah, I've seen. I've watched a couple of his videos. I need to get him on my stream at some point. Um, yeah, yeah, no, he's seems like a lovely guy. But um, to the to the meet, you there's another meet up happening, is there? There is a big meet up. Yes, uh, me, uh, Big Paulie, Jordy Paul, Blue Ray Bullet Brit. Robert Fett's bounty. Hopefully, Kermit um, would like Kermit's ghost to come along. He's yeah. got stuff going on though, so I'm not sure we'll be able to go. But there's, uh, the, we're sorting out something for next month. So hopefully, all going to plan, it will happen. Ooh, so nice. Well, yeah. we'll hey. see, um, we're going to come invade his uh, restaurant now. So yeah. we can <laughs> that sounds good. Well, I'm sure you guys will have a blast. That sounds really fun. Um, most disappointing film you've ever seen. Well, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what mine is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I've never walked out of a film so heartbroken. I can't lie. But um, yeah, anyway, I've spoken about it many times now. Um, <laughs> That's fine. Um, me and the wife, we've walked out a couple of films. There's there was one with... Um, it, was about the, it, was, it was released a couple of years. It was a comedy. And mm -hmm. it was a bit... It was about this woman... Who, what what men want? I think it was called. What men want? Not what, what women want. It was what men want or something. Yeah, I know the title. I I haven't seen it, but I I know what you're on about. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like. We went. Do I admit this? We went to see um, playing with fire with what's his name, the wrestler guy who was in Fast and Furious Nine. Oh, John Cena. Oh, I know. Playing oh, with because I got a I, I got a free poster for it when I walked out of the film once. <laughs> We walked out, and when we oh, were walking out, I looked at the audience, and all I could see was the parents, like, you fucking bastards. <laughs> and they were their kids. It looked quite funny. And I thought, yeah. we had an hour and a half spare, and I thought, we're going to see that. Mm. No. Yeah, it was bad. And Late Night as well with Emma Thompson, that was boring as well. Yeah. I wouldn't say they're, like, the worst films ever made, but they're mm -hmm. films that we've walked out of. And I never walk out of the cinema. No. But mm -hmm. I'm at the point now where if a film's so bad, yeah. Whilst if you're not enjoying it, just go don't go and watch something at home that you do like. You know. Yeah, I I I've not walked out of the film yet. I've come close. I see. I I didn't think about walking out of Star Wars just because it was Star Wars. I feel like I need yeah. to watch it as a diehard fan. Um, the only film I remember turning to someone and saying, "Should we leave?" and I, I, the person who, the, who I said that to was like, "No, nah, let's just stick for it." Was Cats. <laughs> It's the only one where I was like, we got about an hour in, and me and my mates never, never do this. But because we'd heard, we'd seen the reviews and heard that this film was like meant to be outrageously, stupidly bad, mm. we had a few drinks before we went in, so we were all a bit tipsy in there. We we're like, yeah. should we leave? Should we? Leave? But we stayed. We watched the whole thing. We got through it, and um, yeah. yeah, it's bad. It's bad. Yeah. I mean, I, me and Katie went to see it. Um, I, I had seen uh, Katie's seen the stage musical, mm -hmm. um, yeah, she, and that was when she was young. Mm -hmm. I think she saw it when she was at school, and and she remembers saying it was it was good. I'm sure a, a stage show is different; it's yeah. a different experience, mm -hmm. and uh, she enjoyed it. And some of the music is actually nice. The music yeah. isn't an, an issue. Mm -hmm. The problem I found with it was it was just the makeup and the mm -hmm. and the film itself is quite pants. I mean, the way it's yeah. done and James Corden, um, yeah. and, and um, some of it, 
it's good. The, the, all the dancing, everything's very well done. I mean, they mm-hmm. can't take anything away from all the, the actors and the dancers doing their thing. Mm-hmm. They danced really well. Mm-hmm. Some of the singing was awful. Yeah. In fact, most of the singing was awful. Mm-hmm. Uh, the music's fine. The dancing was fine. Some of the cinematography was okay. Mm-hmm. But the film itself was just a bunch of pussies. Yeah. And it was... It, <laughs> it, it, sorry. It, it was bad. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Judy Dench talking to the camera oh, was yeah. was licking her asshole. Yeah. I mean, come on. I I don't know. I I I just remember the reviews for this movie being the best thing ever. Like people are like, oh, I've just discovered what hell's like. All these cats are so horny. It's like it's like all of the yeah, reviews. There, there is a lot of under sexual undertones there. Of people, of yeah, cats, like really wanted mm. to, you know. It's such Dive a in. strange movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was weird. It was yeah. a weird thing to put on film. So. Mm, it really Stage was. Show, fine. Yeah. Film. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of cats, have you seen Cats and Dogs? <laughs> I saw the first one. Mm-hmm. Um, eh. um, yeah. I, I haven't seen these. I haven't seen um, these. I only picked them up today on Blu-ray for 70p, one and two box oh, sets. Oh, did it? Okay. That's, that's good. I mean, that is good for price. I, mean, mm-hmm. I, I don't remember being a massive fan of it. I don't think it was like god-awful, mm-hmm. but it wasn't really for me. Mm-hmm. But yeah. 70p, for, I mean, I, if somebody put it on, I'd be like, I'll give it another go. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. There's one joke I like, and that was the name of the dog. He went, I'm going to call myself Toto Annihilation. <laughs> that's, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like um, that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fair enough. To be, I uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm always up for giving everything a go. Um, with my movies, I, I will always try and watch stuff. So I, I might watch it at some point. Those films. Um, interesting question. If you had to pick five characters from any franchise brackets non MCU to take on Thanos, who would they be? Ooh. Uh, uh, Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mm. Nickers. I actually had him in my mind as well. Yeah, it's a good one. Um, Terminator, Robocop. Mm, that's a cool one. Um, Leatherface. <laughs> <Chris Angel. laughs> yeah. Uh, Michael Myers, because he never dies. No, no, I'm not sure how, but yeah. <laughs> Maybe Pennywise. Oh, Maybe that's Pennywise. a good one, actually. I like that. He's a shapeshifter, so he could do anything. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, I mean, I've got to throw a Star Wars character in there. I'll chuck Vader in there. Um, Jab at the app. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be fair, Vader should do pretty well. We could just, like, force freeze him or something. He could yeah. do pretty well against him. Um, go Vader. I- I've got to do Terminator as well. Arnie popped in my head as well. Um... Mm, looking around for some inspiration, maybe Godzilla. <laughs> oh, you could step on the bastard. Just step it? on it. <laughs> uh, King Kong two. as well. King, King Kong. Kong. Uh, they just start fighting them each other. They're so stupid. Um, <laughs> I don't know who else I'd pick. Um, maybe a Xeno. No, a Predator. Predators are cool. Oh, yeah. That's Predator. Good. That's good. Um, uh, one more. One more. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I've got all these movies and I can't find anything. I don't know. We'll, we'll have Superman in there. Why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> um, what's your favourite war film? Oh, war movies. Uh, Saving Private Ryan is the obvious one. It's, yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. I, I agree. There's some, other, there's some others that I love, like Inglourious Bastards, Hacksaw Ridge. But... Have you seen yeah. the pianist? No, I haven't. I haven't seen that one. That's that is fantastic. fantastic. Yeah, that'd be my probably my second choice. Yeah, it's really harrowing though, but it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. I've I've had a few people recommend that to me actually. I I quite like Fury, which is one that people don't talk about much. Yeah, I've mm. got a story about Fury if you want to hear mm. it. Quick. Yeah, um, cool. near me is a Bobbington uh, Tank Museum, mm-hmm. and um, and they actually used the tank from the Tank Museum. Oh right, mm-hmm. and uh, and it's not far from me. It's about probably about like a forty-minute drive. It's not too mm-hmm. far. 
yeah. my mate used to work there. Anyway, um, when the Fury was coming out, mm -hmm. Brad Pitt visited the Tank Museum secretly. Oh, and really? And went round and looked round. And word caught round that he was there. So mm -hmm. all the press got in their cars and like mm -hmm. the local papers and that. Yeah. Went, to, went to the Tank Museum. He was still there. Mm -hmm. And he was sat outside having a cigarette on the grass, yes. minding mm -hmm. his own business. And all the press walked right past him, didn't recognise him. <laughs> That's crazy. I they... would have loved to have been there. I didn't know, yeah. obviously. But if I'd have been there, I'd be like, yeah, can you do an intro for my YouTube yeah. channel? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be brilliant meeting Brad Pitt. I mean, he's one of the Hollywood legends now, isn't he? Yeah. He's, he is. Son. I mean, he's, um, he's just, he's a, He's a good actor. I mean, he's, he was a movie star, but now he's an actor. I, I don't think yeah. I understand that. He's, he's When I first saw him, a few things, I thought, oh, he's a movie star. He's a pretty lucky boy for the ladies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you start watching some of his work, you're like, okay, he's an actor. Yeah. He's an actor. He That's can it. do it. And Glorious Bastards is a good war film. Yeah, one of my favourites. Yeah. Brilliant in that yeah. movie. Brilliant. But it's like, yeah, I'm, I wasn't the biggest fan of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I liked it a lot, but Brad Pitt was incredible in that movie. I yeah, thought. he was like Robert Redford in that film. Mm, he was, he was channeling Robert Redford, I think. Yeah. I think so. But fan, yeah, I really I enjoyed that film. Mm. Leonardo DiCaprio stole it, though. Oh, really? oh, see, I think I, I love Leo. I think I actually prefer Brad Pitt in that one. I think. They but they're both. Duo. Yeah, they're both brilliant. I, I, I loved it, the, well, right before they get broken into, where they're sort of just getting pissed in a bar together. I thought it was really funny to watch them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they, they really do uh, work off well of each other. Yeah. yeah It'd be good to see them do another film together, really. But, you know, it's one of those things where if they get cast in something again, it's like, oh, well, you've just cast them both because you liked them in... It's like, it's like the um, fourth Men in Black film. It's like, well, you've cast... Chris Hemsworth and um, oh, um, what's the name from um, Thor? Yeah, I can't, well, I can't, it's not. I can't think of a name. No, but yeah, but they just cast them because they watched Ragnarok and went, let's just get them. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like you've got oh, let's write characters for these two. You've just seen them and gone, let's do them. <laughs> let's get them. <laughs> that do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's that's the problem they'd run into. I think if something cast Leo and Brad together again like within the next year or two but mm. they're still a good duo yeah oh, i think they um they, they did work well together i think mm. they were they bounced off each other the chemistry was good so absolutely yeah great little team there them two in a tarantino movie mm. um favorite scorsese film that's tricky I'm trying to think of all his work because he has done a lot of work. Mm. Um, I mean, the obvious one is I haven't seen Irishman yet. Um, all right. Mm -hmm. I must watch that. But mm -hmm. it's quite long, isn't it? It's like four and a half hours or something. Yeah, it's it's a it's a commitment. Um, I think I'd go Wolf of Wall Street. Just I just find it yeah. so watchable. It's it's very funny. Mm -hmm. Very funny. And yeah. I, I, I probably agree with you. I mean, I think Goodfellas is probably his most famous. Yeah, and, I like, yeah. Um, and I like Goodfellas, but mm -hmm. I did find Goodfellas goes on a bit too long. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but it is good. There's no denying it. it's a great film, and mm -hmm. Joe Pesky is amazing in that. Yeah, um, but I, I think I, I do agree with you. I think Wolf of Wall Street was the film that I watched of his that felt the most entertaining. I yeah. was entertained mm -hmm. the most. And it's a little naughty. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's very naughty. Yeah. I, uh, and yeah. Margot Robbie, very mm -hmm. nice. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's always very nice. <laughs> very nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we'll leave it there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. I, I agree on that one. No, it's a, cra it's a cracking film. Most of his films are really good, to be fair. Yeah. He's not made a dud. Rage and mm. Ball was that Rage, was that one of his scores things? Rage and Ball was one of his. Yeah, I haven't right. seen that. That's one of the classics from him. I haven't watched. I've seen most of his other work now, like his classics. I've seen Taxi Driver, Jack Ryan. Like Taxi Driver. It's but it's not a film for everyone. No, no, uh, it's, a lot of Scorsese films aren't for everyone. No, have, but, have uh, you seen um, Hugo? Yes, I enjoyed that. 
It's a it's really nice. odd film for him, I think. Like, all of his yeah. films are so violent and vulgar, or, you know, they're very adult films. And then you've got Hugo. <laughs> There's 3D in that. My yeah. And I don't really watch a lot of 3D. But no. But the 3D in that was unbelievable. And the picture and sound on the Blu-ray. Yeah. I it's not 4K, but my God, the picture and sound on that is one of the best yeah. Blu-ray picture and sounds I've ever seen. It's my go-to for testing. For oh, cheap. I, I could understand why. I picked up this one that's got the 3D in it. Yeah. And it's it is amazing. amazing. Mm. Absolutely amazing how they do it. I mean, it's, just... yeah. it's, it's, it's a really solid film now. I really like mm. Hugo. Um, um, I've just noticed the time because I know you said before when it's yeah. I'll, 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 keep, I'll keep going. I'll keep going. Yeah. Um, I, I, yeah. Depends on the wife, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's, up to you. I, it's entirely up to you. We, are, I'm only going to go till nine anyway. So it's whatever you got to head off. I say I got to go. So yeah, no worries. Just shout at me when you got to go. Hi. <laughs> yeah, that bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your favourite sport film? Field of Dreams. Well, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to watch it. Does it every time I get people on here that I always get loads of films I haven't seen? <laughs> it's, it's um Kevin Costner and uh, oh right mm -hmm. I don't I really don't want to tell you much actually mm -hmm. just watch yeah. it just what okay. is mm -hmm. a bit of a um, fantasy mystery as well element to it yeah but it's it's just such a lovely film very mm -hmm. heartwarming yes yeah. the ending is very emotional but not in a dramatically mm -hmm. upsetting way just yeah. more than like a personal thing but it, mm -hmm. it's such a lovely film it's, mm -hmm. like, it's just something special i just yeah. love it to pieces i could watch it all day yeah oh Brilliant. nice that sounds i will i will add that to the list um for me i think i go eddie the eagle that's good i, like I, that. I love that movie it's it's I I, I I really connected with that film. I thought it was really yeah. nice. I just love the bit when uh, is it Hugh Jackman? He goes upstairs. He's absolutely drunk, and mm. he has a cigarette, and he goes yeah. down the the steep. Oh yeah, arc, and he's just <laughs> and he's just like, he's got in his mouth, and he's just flying in the air. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> love it. I quite like it when I go into the bar, and you know Hugh gets his he gets a big beer. Everyone else is in there is quite drunk. He gets his glass of milk, don't he, or something? That's right, yeah. <laughs> uh, you really do feel sorry for him in that movie. Yeah. Um, poor old... He, um, he did it really good, didn't he, Aaron? Te uh, Eddie the Eagle. He, um, Aaron, yeah. What's his name? Um, Taron Egerton? Egerton? Something like that. It's yeah, Egerton Egerton. He was a rocket man as well, wasn't he? And yeah, I saw, I saw him live actually because I went to see Hugh Jackman when he done his little tour. Oh yes, I think I think he said he came on. Yeah, he came yeah. on and done um, the your song from um, Rocket Man. So my song, no, oh, your song, your song. <laughs> <laughs> but I was I was quite pleased because Hugh Jackman kept having Robbie Williams as his guest, and um, we're not really. Robbie Williams people in my house. We were a bit like, oh, I hope yeah. someone else comes out. And then he brought Taron out, and I was a lot because I love Elton John's music as well. So I was like, yeah, this is <laughs> yeah, he's good. Um, are there any movies where you would love to watch with your parents but decided not to due to specific scenes, um, due to uh, like? making you feel uncomfortable and whatnot um well we i I've, I've made this mistake many times with my parents like um, i remember me and my mum going because we both love tv well like, we're gonna watch game of thrones we're like, watch it together <laughs> first episode ended and i was like we're gonna watch this separately <laughs> <laughs> um well, the, thing, the thing with like um sex scenes and films they mm. usually can be the the one thing that could be quite awkward when my mum used to break the ice yeah, she would break the ice. We so we were watching the film, mm -hmm. and a couple started getting it on. Yeah, and Mama said, "Oh look, they're rubbing belly buttons," <laughs> and, and that'd be it. Yeah. <laughs> that would like just break the tension. So yeah. never really had an issue. My dad does not do horror, so no. I would never watch any horror film with my dad. So I would yeah. say that's the easy answer for me mm -hmm. because anything else was never really much of a problem. But no. it, I mean, it is a little mm -hmm. awkward. You feel you still yeah. feel a little awkward, but it, it, yeah. yeah, 
it's nice it's, to have someone. Is, you know, it, yeah, it's nice to have someone there, though, like, like you said, it breaks the tension. Because I, I remember, funny enough, Rocket Man. I remember sitting in the cinema, I went with my mum and my mate Robert, and I was sort of sitting in the middle. And of course, you know, there's the there's the some there's sex scenes in yeah. that. And I was sitting there, I was like, oh, this is awkward. So I had my mate Robert sitting next to me. I went, put my arm around here in the cinema. He <laughs> <laughs> was like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's affecting me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, I don't know because I don't really watch loads of films with my parents. If I'm being honest, they, my parents' style of film, they like very straightforward just action movies. Like they love Bond, Mission Impossible. They'll probably love ninety percent of Liam Neeson's catalog. Um, whereas I, I tend to watch loads of different stuff. You know, one night I'll be watching like Godzilla. The next night I'll be watching like something a bit more serious. Um, so I, I normally just come up. I, I like watching on my TV on my own. I turn the lights off, just make a night out of it. I, I very rarely watch anything with my my dad now because obviously my mum's gone. But my mm. daddy, um, we obviously I got a flat with Katie. So mm -hmm. and COVID, of course, recently. The last thing I watched with my dad was Back to the Future Part Three for about the hundredth time. Yeah, <laughs> we, uh, well, it might have been Star Wars. Yeah. Um, Return of the Jedi. It's one of them too. Mm -hmm. We went when I was um, in between moving in a flat with Katie and um, and obviously I, I, uh, my last flat. I had to stay with my dad and my brother for a mm -hmm. couple of months and just to get the money and everything out, get the yeah. flat ready. Mm -hmm. And so me and Dad went through the trilogy of Back to the Future and Star Wars, the original original yeah. trilogy. Mm -hmm. And they're like the last films I watched with my dad. He has come around a couple of times and we'll watch something, but. Yeah, can't remember for life of me what it was. No, nah. well, what's the last thing I remember watching? But I, I'm not even sure what the last thing I was. Uh, the last thing I watched with my parents. I do vaguely remember watching Tootsie with my dad. Um, oh, with um, Dustin Hoffman. Mm, yeah, because I've I, I remember just taking out downstairs and he was sitting down and I was like, oh, I just mind if I put this on? And um, he really got into it. To be fair, um, I. I cannot remember the last one I watched him. It was probably just something on the telly, like Jurassic Park or something that's always on like that. Classic. But yeah, I love, so, I love that's my dad does like a lot of the old films that I like. Uh, that I like to be fair, like the classics, like Jurassic Park, Jaws. He he got me into Star Wars, so we we line up very well and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, ever seen any? David Lynch films. I, I actually haven't, and I know, like, I'm not sure if he's here, but Film Geek Archie, one of my friends here, um, he loves David Lynch. But I'm going to get the new Arrow video um, Dune set that's coming out. Oh, yes, yeah. That. So I will be seeing that soon. And his Twin Peaks TV movie is coming to Criterion, I think, so I might okay. pick that up. Um, I, to be honest, <clears throat> I've not seen a lot of his work. Um, mm. it never appealed. Um, but mm. I am intrigued. I have recently picked up um, the Holland Drive. Um, I've heard mm -hmm. that is really good. Yeah, I'm trying to think of his film. Who did Seven? Was that David Lynch? Oh, that, um, no, that was um, David Fincher. David Fincher. Oh, David yeah. Lynch, not Lynch. <laughs> No, I no, honestly, I keep get, I always get their names mixed up as well. <laughs> I, 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 I'd have to, I, I'd have to look up his whole like his, his catalogue of films to see if there's yeah. anything I've watched. I right. don't know off the bat. No, um, I know of a lot of his films, like Eraserhead and stuff. I just haven't seen them, but I know of them. I, I, I just never got, never watched them. Uh, it's not because I think they're rubbish or anything, or they mm -hmm. look crap. It's just, just something I never got into. Yeah, you know. People think if you're a film geek and you haven't watched a certain director, that oh, you're not yeah. a film geek. You yeah. know, you are. You, if you know, film geek, that's not in a negative way. Mm. Um, you know, if you love film, I and mean, it's there's millions of movies. Mm -hmm. There's four yeah. or five films every week that's released. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see everything. And no. but I, I'm very. I would watch them. Give them a go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Blue Velvet is very good. So. Mm -hmm. And the Hunt yeah. Drive. I've picked up the Hunt Drive. That's like yeah. my first Lynch experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I completely agree with you. Though I, I don't, I, you know, the directors and stuff. It doesn't really bother me too much. It's like I, I watch the films that interest me, and I think that's how everyone else should be. Not yeah. go. I need to watch all of this director's films. You know, mm -hmm. I think it's good to just you know watch what you like. Um. 
are you both getting the 4K Blu-ray box set for the older classic Star Trek movies? Um, I won't. I'm. I'm. I'm I, you like? To, I think you're a Star Trek fan, aren't you? I think. Um, well, I won't be buying that box set because I don't mm -hmm. have 4K. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but but um, I, I mean, I've got a 4K TV, but mm -hmm. I don't. I've never bought a 4K player, and I don't unless they release the original Ninja Turtle movie in 4K, yeah. the 1990 one. Mm -hmm. Then I might go down that road. Yeah. But for now, I don't. I just I won't collect 4K, so I won't get it. Yeah. As for Star Trek, um. My dad is a Trekkie. He loves yeah. the originals. I grew up watching the original ones, William Shatner mm -hmm. and um, uh, yeah. Leonard Nimoy, Spock and Kirk. Mm -hmm. So I love, I like those. Are they 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 they're cheesy as anything? But yeah, there are some great episodes mm -hmm. in Star Trek. Whether you like yeah. it or not, there are some very mm -hmm. good episodes. Yeah, and like any series, there's a lot of crap ones as well. Yeah. But, um, the movies, the first film is a dud. It's very slow. Yeah, not I. Yeah, um, I didn't like that one. one. Rafa Khan is a classic. They've gone mm -hmm. from like poo to fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Search for Spock is okay. It's interesting. Yeah. Uh, Voyage Home is fantastic. The fourth See, one. I'm I'm in the minority here because I know people really like that one. I wasn't a fan of that one. That's fair enough. Yeah, that was the I'm one where I was like, because I remember everyone being like, oh, you're going to love the fourth one. And I watched it. I was like, I actually preferred the third one, I think. <laughs> That's fair enough. I mean, the third one is good. And then yeah. the second one, The Final Frontier, nobody liked that one, but I yeah. like it. I like I like, it. Um, I like that one. That's the one where they go to the snowy planet, isn't it? Or is that the sixth that's, one? That's the one with God. They go to find God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, it's a I little dodge. It's one. a little, uh, uh, but it's fine, mm -hmm. level. And six, The Undiscovered Country is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really good. Really good. That's yeah. when they get they meet up with the Klingons. Fantastic yeah. drama. Fantastic film. Yeah, no, I do like the Star Trek films. Um, I I haven't seen any. I know I watched Discovery. I think it's called the TV oh, show. Oh yeah, the TV series. Yeah, I watched. I've not seen two, that yet. I watched two seasons. It was just very. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I think I saw the first episode. I think. Mm. Uh, I, I just, it's just catch. Like I said, don't get tired. I watched Mandalorian though. Oh, yeah. That's oh, Star, well, that, that's not Star Trek. It's Star Wars. No, that's so a different. <laughs> yeah, that's a different league, Mandalorian. <laughs> oh, I've goodness. I've never been so hyped watching Mandalorian, like especially season two. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I got actually. I got right. Oh, there he is. Uh, there he is. <laughs> Next to my Phantom Menace poster. Um. Yeah. Oh, no, you, Mandalorian you posters, don't you? you, you yeah. Yeah, they are amazing. Oh, thank you. I, you sent one to somebody, was it? Uh, was it Blue View? Blue View's got one. Um, I sent a few. I do. I do them all the time for my mates and stuff. You know, like I've got a mate who like Ninja Turtles, nineteen ninety. I can do you a Ninja Turtle. No, actually, I'll tell you what. I'll do you a Ninja Turtles one for the because you've sent me two Blu-rays. No, I'll do you one because you sent me two Blu-rays. I I will do you a Ninja Turtle one. Um, if I hopefully there'll be a poster online, good res because I don't know the older films I sort of struggle with because I have to nick the pictures online from somewhere. Um, so I struggle with the older films, but um, yeah, no, I always make my it's it's easy for me to do birthday presents for my mates because I just go, oh, he likes this movie, I just make him a poster of that. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. handy, that's handy, yeah, because I've got like a mate who loves like Killer Clowns, so it was his birthday last month, so I just done him a Killer Clowns poster. So. Oh, that's cool, <laughs> that's a crazy film. I love it. he introduced me to it and I bought that arrow video blu-ray which is up on my shelf and I love that movie I it love is. it <laughs> have you seen terror vision no no I haven't no, no. that's one you got to try and find um my you know Robert Fett's bounty Rob yes mm -hmm. uh he he's got everybody buying that recently because <laughs> oh, really? I, I saw it years ago it is yeah. it's in the same sort of league as killer clowns it's barn mm. yeah and uh and he recently did a video about it and I sent him the, there was a special edition from Germany. That's quite, that was quite affordable. Mm -hmm. um, that is like the best version to get of the film. Yeah. And so everybody, cause he got, I got, I sent it to him and subscribed mm -hmm. mail and now everybody seems to be getting it apparently. And now they're yeah. all <laughs> I'm terrified. He's terrified what they're going to think of it. Cause it really is like killer clowns. You either go yeah. or you're going to I suppose it's one of the things where you like sort of big a film up and then everyone watch it and you're like, oh god, I, I hope they like it. Um, yeah. But I've got, I've got to watch um, Critters still for Rob. And funny enough, I noticed there's a little Critters Easter egg in um, Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles, wasn't there? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, Critters is great. First two, yeah, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Three, okay. 
yeah. fork and fork and as yeah. far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I've, heard it, first I, I've heard it's gremlins y like type vibes you get with it. Yeah, people say that. They say it's like gremlins. I I kind of it's not the same sort of feel of gremlins, mm -hmm. but similar sort of story in a way about these little yeah. creatures that take over a town. That's the, the general plot. So I guess the storyline is kind of has similar beats, mm -hmm. but they're very different films. Yeah, um, I think the, the critters is a bit, a little bit more darker, but it has humor in it. And yeah, yeah, I think you'll like Critters One. I think you'll enjoy Critters Two. Yeah, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, sorry, DiCaprio. He's in the third one as a kid. His first film. Really? Yeah, oh wow! So, yeah, you, you look forward That's, to that. Yeah, I uh, no, I am the... better later on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I will. I will give them a watch. Um, I've got. I've got to bring up a comment here, Mister. Um, Mister. Come, it's Ghost is here. Oh, Alan. <laughs> and he said, oh, yes. "Elephant Man is a good David Lynch." I've seen Elephant Man. Fantastic. Ah, oh, see, I, Elephant Man is that a Criterion? I swear, there's a Blu-ray copy out there of it. Is... They did release. I'm not sure they. They might have done a Criterion because mm. Criterion are knocking out the park at the moment. But I yeah. think there is. They did a. A special edition of that and it's got 4k yeah. as well released i think that's what i'm thinking of i might yeah. pick that up um very sad very yeah. sad oh yeah, yeah i can imagine to be fair um just notice i'm exactly an hour behind in the comments or even just by the time you let's get to this one yeah uh, i mean we're only going to be going for 10 more minutes anyway but um so i'm just going to sort of pick through the comments but um yeah jake's here as well hello jake, oh, oh, hello, he's got, jake. got a new you got a new dog he's watching us apparently what the dog? Yeah. <laughs> um, have you seen? Oh, Matt and I. Yeah, I've got this actually because I remember getting this in an unboxing, and uh, me with my my terrible reading skills, I couldn't pronounce the title. And <laughs> I remember you saying, sending me over a message, going, "This is how you pronounce it, James." <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I have it. Still have yet to watch it, but it Very looks good. pretty cool. It's like my type of movie, to be fair. It's good. It's a good film. Really yeah. like it. It's one I used to watch as, uh, all the time as a kid. Like we say about a lot of films, but it's true. It's, it's one of those films I watched over and over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, yeah. It's I, I. I reckon I'm gonna really like it. it. Sort of looks like straight up my street. To be fair. <laughs> um, question for Jamie. Thoughts on oh. the Planet of the Apes reboot series? Is right. Well, uh, the reboot with um, what's his name from Lord of the Rings. Oh. Andy. Is it mm. about those ones? Oh, only about... yeah. I'm yeah, guessing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I can go through the whole thing. The original film, the best, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The sequels, fun. They're all good. Mm -hmm. They're cheesy, but they're fun. Not as good mm -hmm. as the first movie. Yeah. Then you had the TV series that was okay. They had an animated series that was mm -hmm. okay for its time. Then you had the um, Tim Burton movie. Gets a lot of hate. I mm -hmm. enjoyed it. Not as mm -hmm. good, but I enjoyed it. And then you had the Andy Circus stuff. Loved all three. Yeah, I especially loved the last one more. I just, yeah, but I loved all three. I think mm -hmm. they're all equally good. They're one of the best trilogies yeah. that we've had, and they're very underrated. I, uh, I think, mm, I, I completely agree. Yeah, they're. Um, I, I like anything Planet of the Apes. I, yeah. I think they're fantastic films, and the original one is very iconic, and it has a lot of messages about it. You know, like the yeah. world and mm -hmm. nuclear power, and yeah. we blew up. I mean. The, I don't want to ruin it in case anybody's not seen it, yeah. but he finds something out at the end that just shows yeah. how bad humanity can really be. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. it's, it's a bit of a gutsy ending. I must admit that I find the original Planet of the Apes film so rewatchable. I watch it probably at least once every six months. Um, mm. I like the second one as well quite a bit. Yeah, um, they're all they are what they're all watchable. Mm. Uh, oh yes, yeah, I mean, yeah. there's one man in the prison. All these eight, all these apes. I think it's yeah. beneath. The fourth square. fourth one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and they're all in a prison. They have like they plan this massive escape. I, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed. I enjoy all of them. that one's good. The only one that I think I struggle with, but it's it's not terrible. I could happily sit and watch it again. Was the one where they initially went back in time, or the to the two? I think it's the third one where they go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I because I I, I, I I don't know. I I kind of just enjoyed a bit more action in the Planet of the Apes films. I think, yeah. and that one just didn't really have that. But it's not. A bad movie, but it's like Indiana Jones Four. It's not as yeah. good as the others, but it's not mm -hmm. as bad as it could be. No, yeah, but the the reboots though, the the free Andy Circus ones, especially the later two, I think are incredible. Yeah. 
Fantastic. Fantastic yeah. stuff. I always remember seeing Rise of the Apes and I know when he goes, no. Yeah. <laughs> the girl behind me with her, with her partner went, oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, I see. I really do love Rise because I remember having, I remember really wanting it for Christmas, like the year it came out. Uh, um, um, my parents got it for me on DVD. I remember sitting down in my room and my granddad, who's no longer here, he come upstairs and watched it with me. So I just really have fond memories remembering watching that for the first time with my granddad. So that one will always have like a special place with me. Um, favorite Jim Carrey film? Truman Show. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I like the majestic. I like mm -hmm. Eternal Sunshine. I like Lai Lai. I like it. Mm -hmm. I, he was my favorite actor growing up. Yeah, I met, I met him very briefly as well. Oh really? Um, yeah, I went to the Lemony Snicket premiere. That was where Christopher oh, Lee was there as well, and mm -hmm. what's his name? Um, science guy, theory of everything. What's his name? Uh, Stephen Hawkins. He went to oh, it. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, but yeah, Jim Carrey. I was walking up thingy and jim carrey came up to me shook me by the shoulders and said do yeah. not go and see this movie and <laughs> i said well, what and he went yeah. do not go and see this movie I said, but i've got a ticket he goes well in you go then Other. <laughs> Bonkers. Bonkers. he's yeah really he's nice crazy. Guy. yeah i can imagine he's a really lovely bloke actually he's gone he's he kind of lost the plot i'm not being rude but he kind of yeah. lost his way mm -hmm. a bit recently um but yeah he's got himself back on track he mm -hmm. he went through a bad time and everybody was taking yeah. the mickey out of him for acting strange mm -hmm. i think uh he lost somebody i think like a girl yeah um, yeah I, I do remember this on the news he, so. i think he lost his his way a bit but he's got back yeah. to where he was i think and he yeah. was good in sonic i enjoyed him in the sonic movie yeah i liked him i'm really looking forward to him I'm guessing he's going to be in the sequel. I know if you're... Sequel. Oh, he's in it? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Sure he is. At the end, when he put the goggles down and stuff and he was on the Mushroom Planet, I was like, now that looks like the Dr. Egghead guy I remember from the original yeah. show. <laughs> he was first called Dr. Robotnik and people seem to forget mm. that. But, uh... Yeah, it's like I, I always just grew up calling him Egghead because I remember I watched, I think it was Sonic XD was the name of the show and oh, Sonic yeah. called him Eggman. So I thought Eggman Egghead, I can't remember. But yeah, but yeah, no, he's I'm really looking forward to the Sonic sequel actually. Mm. It should be fun. <laughs> mm. Um okay, this is an interesting one. What film did you hate as a child uh but like now? Um that's a tough one. Yeah. Uh mm. I'm struggling a bit on that. I can't, one. I can't think. I've got. I've been struck dumb. I'm gone quiet. Uh, um, I must admit, I'm. I'm struggling to think here as well. Um, trying to look around for some inspiration. I'm thinking, but yeah. I'm trying to. I really. I'm. I, I don't know. I no. can't answer that question. I. I'm, I really. I mean, to think of a film that you like now that you didn't like when you were younger. I, mean, I don't um, know. No, I, I can't think of one either, actually. No, I can't. I'll, no, I'm a bit stumped there. Sorry. I've brought, we've brought up a comment where we're both stumped. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, um, here, let's have a... I'm, try, I'm trying to pick and choose here with the questions. Um. Oh, here we go. Favorite Christopher Lee film? Oof. I I got a random one. Um, mm -hmm. Mainly to, due to a personal reason, um, mm -hmm. family thing, the memory. Uh, it's called A Feast at Midnight. Okay, I've heard, I do know a bit. I haven't seen it. I'm surprised. It's but... <laughs> um, about this kid. He goes to stay at a boarding school, and he's the headmaster, and mm -hmm. and he's like uh, Christopher Lee's like uh, is one of the head teachers, and he. Mm -hmm. He's treated like he's a velociraptor from uh, Jurassic Park. They can't oh, name okay. the movie, but they, mm -hmm. they reference him to a velociraptor. They call him Raptor. Oh, okay. And, uh, but he's, he's like a serious teacher, and this kid wants to, he like, uh, they're all like having like healthy foods, because mm -hmm. at that time, healthy foods was a thing. And yeah. the kid is a baker, and he wants to bake cakes and all that. And mm -hmm. he sneaks down uh, to the mm -hmm. kitchen to make some food that he likes and yeah and, it, and it's, a, it's a sort of 
gentle British mm-hmm. comedy. But it's really nice and it's uh, quite funny. It's a bit weird, but well, not weird, but it's a bit. I don't know. Uh, today's kids are very different to kids back then. Back then, you didn't mm-hmm. have phones and laptops and internet. You just had videos and books and comic books, mm-hmm. etc. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. The wife's just coming. She's just giving me a wave. Oh, no worries. We'll, we'll just do one more question after this, then, if you want, and we'll, we'll wrap up. Okay, uh, cool. Well, I, I, my favourite Christopher Lee film, I'd just have a Lord of the Rings film. Because I love that. Of course, yeah. Amazing. Great films. Um, So, yeah, we'll just do one more question, guys. Um, And I've pulled up this one. What is your opinion on the new Black Widow film? Just seen it today. So that's very unfortunate. (laughs) Yeah, I I, I was aware you had. That's why I thought it would be a good last one. (laughs) You want to go first or shall I? Um, I could go first if you want because I've reviewed it so people sort of know. Um, I really enjoyed it. I mean, yeah, it weren't Marvel's best, but it weren't one of their worst. I thought it was a fun action film i like all the new side characters i thought the action was good the plot was fun and i'm excited for what they teased at the end in the end credit scene so overall i thought it was really good and yeah it's about the same opinion as me to be honest (laughs) i enjoyed it i enjoyed it from start to finish i was never Mm -hmm. bored people say it has slow moments it may be slow but they weren't boring um Mm -hmm. i like the character development I like yeah. his dad, David Harbour. He was funny. Um, mm-hmm. and yeah, I like, yeah. And uh, what's the name? Uh, oh, the Florence, sister. Pl- Florence Plows. I can't remember That's... the character's name. but No. no. <laughs> it's not no. name memorable. But <laughs> I think, it, like you said, it's not the best of the Marvel movies. It's no. more s- smaller scope, in a way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I really love the plane bit. Uh, the plane. Where, as, when they're in the plane, and it says, um, we ain't got enough fuel to get to where we need oh, to be. Yeah. And, he's, and he goes, and yeah. he goes, oh, we've got enough. We'll make yeah. it. Yeah. And then the next shot, the, the plane's like, Nyeh. yeah, <laughs> doesn't <it> explode. Yeah. <laughs> some, some of the humour in it was really good. I like the bit where she named a pig after um, yeah. David Harbour's character. <laughs> that whole scene was really funny. Yeah. Oh, it was really. Good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. The bit yeah. at the end, everybody's going mad about this bit at the end. And I was like, what's it going to be? What's it mm. going to be? Is yeah. Iron Man coming back for a prequel? Yeah. Cool? And it's like. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, oh, is that it? Yeah. I know there's, um, oh, no, I can't, can't talk about it in case there's people who haven't seen it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, out of five, I gave it, both me and the wife agreed on it, 3.75, mm-hmm. which is like seven and a half. Very yep. entertaining, very good. Not the best, and no. it's not the worst. I completely agree on the score. In my review, I was very generous. I think so I was very excited. I gave it an eight. But in my podcast that I recorded today, I gave it a seven and a half. So, so on the same page. Um cool. Yeah, I said I enjoyed it. It was a good couple of hours. Yeah. yeah it's fun. Yeah. Uh, but I'll just bring up one more comment before we go, because um, the, the man himself... Oh, there he is. It's the big Paul is here. <laughs> My friend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, 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 your friend in real life. To me, he's uh, still yeah. just visual we've friend. Been, we've been <laughs> friends for a while. Ages. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, hey, I mean, hopefully one day I'll be able to meet up with him and your good self as well. Be nice to do some big meetups eventually. Yeah, yeah, um, more than welcome. Yeah. Oh well. That, hey. Well, one day I'm sure. Um, but just watch Mile Twenty Two, Mark Wahlberg. Haven't I? Haven't seen that actually. Don't think I have either. No, not yeah. seen that. Have you ever noticed that Mark Wahlberg is always out of breath? Yeah, I actually. Yeah, I know what you mean. Actually, some of those. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I watched his um, new film, Infinite. I haven't seen that one either. <laughs> really, really bad. Really oh. bad. <laughs> it's one of the worst ones I've seen this year, actually. But oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I do like him, though. Yeah, I think he's. I actually think he's quite funny sometimes when he does his comedic roles. Yeah, yeah. I like. What's that? Is it Daddy's Home? Is it mm. Daddy? Da- yeah. I like the funny. first one. I, I didn't think too much on the second one, but I like the first one. <laughs> yeah, the second one had one good bit. And that was mm. when they were, their fathers were coming down the stairs. Oh, and yes. Will Ferrell's dad is John Lithgow. Yeah. And he's just going, yeah. ah, just, <laughs> that, cra- that whole scene cracked me up. Yeah, so yeah. But, yeah. I, 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 I do remember finding that bit amusing. But I think they put that in the trailer, didn't they? So I was like, yeah. I still saw it coming. But <laughs> yeah. It was a shame. But it, it was, I really liked that opening bit. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but yeah, he's, he's good old Marky Moo. Yeah, yeah. No, we like him. <laughs> um, but anyway... 
we're going to wrap the stream up there, guys. Um, apologies to the comments didn't get to, but you guys are fully aware of my streams now. We never get to all the comments. Um, but anyway, thank you, everyone, who come by. And, Jamie, thank you so much for coming on, mate. <laughs> thank you for having me. It's been great fun. Uh, it really has. We'll have to do it again at some point. It, it's been an absolute blast and a pleasure. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, everyone, for coming by. It's been a pleasure. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you again soon for another stream, video, whatever. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye-bye. <-bye>. Bye. <laughs>